welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am so excited because I have my girlfriend here and we are visiting our local farmer's market. This place on Wednesdays is absolutely phenomenal. Santa Monica is the place to be for probably one of the best farmer's markets in the nation. So I thought I would come here today with my friend and get some inspiration by some of the local um, farmers here, what they have in stock, all their fresh ingredients, and whip something absolutely incredible for dinner tonight. So let's get right into it. Let me show you what's around and show you what's, uh, what's whatever is here. <laughs> all right, so first stop is always flowers. As you guys know, I always have my house stocked up with flowers, so. These are like the best flowers to get around right now. So far, I've got some tomatoes. I'm maybe thinking of doing like an heirloom tomato salad. Got some potatoes that I'll roast. Uh, I'm gonna grab some grass-fed steaks. See what we can whip up here. So many like amazing things in season right now. It's so hard to pick what you wanna make. Love it. So I got all of my ingredients for tonight. I'm feeling very inspired. I'm gonna go home and see what I can whip up. I'll see you guys at home. Bye. Hi guys, so we are back at home and I'm so excited to share with you what I picked up and what I'm going to be making for you. So today we picked up some beautiful heirloom tomatoes, baby squash, some fingerling potatoes that are absolutely gorgeous and so cute. We got some purple ruffled basil, which I never see anywhere, so of course I had to pick that up. Some beautiful fresh chive, parsley, thyme, and rosemary. I got some beautiful peaches because they're in season right now and they're so ripe and juicy. And of course some lemons and some fantastic grass-fed ribeye steaks that I'm gonna throw on the grill tonight and have an amazing summer night feast with all of this. So let's get right into it. Let me show you what we're gonna whip up with all these fantastic ingredients that we got from the farmer's market today. The first thing we're going to wanna to do is roast our fingerling potatoes and our baby squash. These take um, the longest. They take about 30 minutes to roast in the oven at 400 degrees. So let's see what we can do in order to bring out the amazing flavors of that. I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is prepare my baby squash. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually gonna throw these into a mixing bowl <laughs> and I'm going to drizzle that with olive oil. Of course, again, some salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and then I'm going to give that a toss. So once that's all incorporated, I'm going to chop up some thyme, some beautiful thyme that we got today. And just sprinkle that on top of that. Boop. Maybe add some beautiful rosemary that we just got. Give that a good chop. Give that a good toss. Get all those beautiful herbs incorporated with the baby squash. These are gorgeous. Put this onto a lined baking sheet with parchment paper. Okay guys, so I got my baby squash onto my baking sheet. I'm just going to put this again in the same oven as my potatoes, 400 for 20 to 25 minutes. So the next thing that we have here are our heirloom uh, tomatoes. They are so beautiful. I love the different colors. It just really spoke to me when I walked past them at the farmer's market. So what I'm going to do is just cut them in half and put them in my mixing bowl. I mean, does it get any more fresh and gorgeous than this? I don't think so. So the next thing that I want to add to this are these beautiful purple ruffled basil. You guys, I don't see these anywhere. So when I saw them, I was like, I have to have you. You are a must, and I need you in my life. So all we're gonna wanna do is just give this a rough chop. 
Then we're going to add some olive oil again, salt, pepper. Then I just grabbed some balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top of that as well. I'm just going to give that a good toss. Now we're just going to sprinkle half of our basil in there, like so. And then we're going to serve it, and I'll show you how. So I'm just going to pour my tomato mixture into my dish. I'm gonna to top it off a little bit more of my beautiful basil. And then I picked up this beautiful goat cheese. Oh my gosh, guys. It's, uh, it's a Herbes de, Herbes de Provence goat cheese that I picked up from the, from the farmer's market, and it's absolutely incredible. So just going to sprinkle that on top. Are you guys seeing how quick everything is coming together? It's pretty inc incredible. So again, just sprinkle a little bit more olive oil on top, and that's it. We're gonna set this aside and we're going to bring it back out when we're ready to eat. So the next thing we're going to wanna do is make the marinade for the potatoes. So I have half a bunch of parsley that I'm going to chop up, then some chives, chop that up as well. Some rosemary. Oh, I love what we picked up today at the farmer's market. And I love how creative I get to be. That's the best part about going to the farmer's market. Don't go in there with like any kind of expectations. See what speaks to you and use that as creative inspiration to make something absolutely incredible. And when I come home, I just like to play with it. Like right now I had no idea what I was gonna be making for you guys. <laughs> but I like just playing with the ingredients and see, seeing what speaks to me. So I just uh, also just cut up some thyme as well. So I have some parsley, chives, thyme, and rosemary. Just going to put that in my bowl. I'm going to zest up one lemon and add it to my herb mix. So the next part of this, we have to take over to the stove. So what I'm gonna do is I have a small sauce, a saucepan here. I have one stick of unsalted butter. Just kind of look at that as it melts. Also, if you're vegan and you want to have this, um, try this potato recipe, you can also just easily swap up, swap out butter for vegan butter. Love that, it tastes just as good. Now that we are done melting our butter, I'm just gonna turn down the heat a little bit till medium, and I'm going to add um, some minced up garlic. This is probably about four to five cloves of minced garlic. Just going to give that a stir. Now we're going to add the herbs that we just chopped up. Guys, this is insane, so beautiful. We're gonna turn that off, and we're gonna set that to the side. Okay, so we're going to take half of that lemon that we just zested and squeeze that into our butter mixture. I'm just gonna set that to the side. All right guys, my butter mixture is ready to go. I'm gonna take my potatoes out, and I'm going to spoon over my butter and herb marinade. Gorgeous. So pretty. This literally gives me life. <laughs> We're gonna save a little bit to the side of our butter and herb mix. We're gonna use that again when we're ready to serve. So we're going to stick this back in the oven for another five to seven minutes. Okay guys, so we are coming up to the main star for tonight's video. That is our beautiful grass-fed ribeye steaks. You guys, these are so gorgeous, beautifully marbleized, and I am like, I can't wait. I freaking love steak. All right, so what we're going to do is just keep this very, very simple, but we're gonna add a little spin to it, and that is by adding truffle oil. Now, I love, love truffle oil. If you don't have truffle oil, you can also use truffle salt instead of regular salt, and just use regular olive oil, but if not, just go olive oil, salt, and pepper. You don't need much for these. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that truffle oil on each steak. Add some salt, 
pepper. When it comes to good quality meat, you don't want to do much to it. You want to keep it as simple as possible. That's it, we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes at room temperature. So since we're going to be grilling up our steaks, I figured I'd also add some beautiful grilled peaches as well. And I'm just going to set them aside with my steaks so they can grill up with them. It's time to take out the baby squash and our beautiful fingerling potatoes. All right. We're just going to let these cool off until our steaks are ready and then we're gonna serve everything up together. All right guys, we're taking it outside to the grill. We're gonna grill up these beautiful ribeye steaks and these fantastic looking peaches and have a phenomenal summer feast. So I'm gonna take my ribeyes, place them on a grill that I preheated to high heat. Take my peaches. Beautiful. I'm gonna let that sit for about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna flip it and cook it another five minutes. Okay guys, our summer feast is all done. I'm ready for my guests to arrive so we can have a phenomenal summer night's dinner with these beautiful ingredients that we picked up from the farmer's market today. We have some gorgeous grilled ribeye steaks, grilled peaches, our beautiful baby squashes, our roasted fingerling potatoes, and a fantastic heirloom tomato and goat cheese salad. I'm so excited to dig in. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming to the farmer's market today with me and seeing me prep up these fantastic ingredients. And I hope you can see how easy and simple it can all be. Just remember to keep it really simple when it comes to the beautiful ingredients that you pick up at the farmer's market. You just wanna bring out the gorgeous flavor of each ingredient that you purchase. So enjoy all of that. Also, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more easy and healthy recipes. I can't wait to see you guys next. Bye.